Chow Chin Chow, Lantern Joe here, and welcome to the last mystery gift showcase of the seventh generation of Pokemon. If you don't know what this series is, it is the mystery gift showcase. Every now and then, Pokemon release events via mystery gift, and I show them off to you in a series called the mystery gift showcase. It couldn't be more simpler. Today we have Shiny Moonala and Shiny Solgaleo for you to pick up. These are available in stores by asking for codes. So, if you're in America, you need to go to your GameStop store, uh, but you don't need to ask for a code. What you need to do instead is you need to actually have had the Pokemon Pass app of, uh, installed on your phone. And then you'll need to find a poster, uh, look for the QR code, and then scan it, and you'll get free code. And then you can download free codes by that. And you only have to scan it once to get the free codes. But that's all the codes you can get from that. Uh, uh, so you'll have to figure out something else, because it's only, like, free codes per account. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. Anyway, with mine, it's one per customer at local game stores. And, of course, if you're not in the UK or in the US... Uh, you can get these events uh, by your local shops too. Please go on to Celebi because the fact is Joe Merrick is your friend and knows exactly where you need to go to go and get your stuff. Because I don't, but Joe Merrick does. So go and look at there and you'll find out where you need to go to go and get your stuff. The only places it isn't available is Japan. But then again, they have a Shining Across Mirror event. So, you know, they got something better in my books. Anyway... Let's get this event. Now, how this works is if you are playing on Sun or Ultra Sun, you get a Shiny Nunala. If you are playing on Moon or Ultra Moon, you get Shiny Goleo. So you get the opposite of what your event of your what your actual game legendary would be. And of course, if you are playing in Sun and Moon, they are level 60. And have uh, different move sets to when they're level 100 and have different uh, and uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So yeah, it's quite interesting. It sort of reminds me of the old school Year of the Mythical Pokemon or Year of the Legendaries. That's what it sort of reminds me of. Anyway, so in order to get this, we need to go to Mystery Gift, and we need to go to. Uh, get via code or password Now I got that warning there saying because I can only pick up five more codes before I have to start deleting wonder codes uh, Wonder codes. I'm glad this is sort of the last code uh, of this generation then because I'm running out of space on my 3ds for codes So yeah, I'm sort of glad this is the last one for that reason but otherwise, I'd be in trouble uh, if I ran out of codes. I'd have to delete Wonder Codes. It's fine, but, you know, it would take a while to figure out what I needed to do in order to allow myself to actually get more codes. So I'm glad this is not the case. Right, I'm going to make a cut, and I will see you... Wait, no. Oh, it's, it's allowing me to do it. All right. Fine, I was going to make a cut, but, like, it's allowing me to do it, so that's fine. Uh, remember, this code won't work for you, but this code works for me. It's one code per customer, so... Uh, I would have had to go back to my gate, uh, my local shop and go and get another code for another Pokemon. Which is a shame, because I understand why they make it one code per po uh, per customer. I understand it's not because... Uh, you know, there's only a finite number of codes. It's because, basically, codes have been seen on eBay being sold for money. And that should never be. It is horrible that, uh, that Wi-Fi codes are on eBay and are being sold for money. I hate it. I absolutely hate it with every bone of my body, you know. But that is a thing. Uh, I'm thankful to those people who give me codes uh, for events when that happens. Uh, that has happened for the Shiny Nunala, uh, for, uh, uh, well, for this event as well. Uh, but uh, I'm thankful to those people who give me codes. But don't try and resell your codes for money. You didn't make anything, you know, 
you didn't that doesn't cause you any hassle you don't really need a kind of some kind of pay for it strong anyway so radiant lunala shani lunala breaks through the darkness with luna might change the tide of battle with moongeist beam and moonblast uh and then restore hp with moonlight And there it is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go into the game and pick it up and then we'll show it off in battle. We'll uh, we'll do We'll do the normal things that we do. We'll show it off in battle. We'll give it a Z we'll show it off as using a Z move and of course it's Z move and then we're also going to Pokemon and me as well. Now obviously these Pokemon are not they are shiny locked, but they also are shiny, so it doesn't really matter if they're shiny locked. But you can soft reset here before you pick up your Pokemon. You can save the game and you can soft reset for three random IVs these that you can get uh, for your Pokemon and of course the nature as well so if you're trying to look for competitive stats on this Pokemon you can go for those those are available to you uh, to do that with it's just that you would save before talking to the mystery gift so, uh, to the mystery gift guy yes I would like to take it off your hands we have Lunala And of course it goes into my Pokedex as shiny because the fact is I, it's the first time I'm seeing it. That is so beautiful. And it even has a star on the uh, uh, on the bottom of the screen as well. Records of its uh, existence in writings are long from long, long ago. Where it is known by the beast that calls the moon. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, obvious... Oh, okay, it doesn't actually... It is still level 60. But its moveset will be different in Sun and Moon compared to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And of course, also, it is holding a bold bottle cap here in Ultra Moon. Uh, and Ultra Sun, it is not holding that in Sun and Moon. So you will not get a gold bottle cap if you're playing in su if you're playing in Sun or Moon. You need that. If you want that, you need to play in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Okay, so we have Moon Geist Beam, uh, Psy Shark, Moon Blast, and Moonlight. And I have a modest nature. Oh, that's actually good. That's an actual good nature for this thing. That's actually a good nature because that special attack up, special def uh, regular attack down. And it's not really known for its regular attacks, so that is cool. I am a happy person to get that. Alright, let's go and show it off in battle. Because uh, the way I've decided to do this with the last uh, with the fact that this is the last event of the seventh generation is there's going to be two episodes so there's going to be an episode where i show you guys shiny soul galeo and there's going to be an episode where i show you shiny nunala this is a shiny nunala episode next time it's a shiny galeo episode so in a way it's part a and part b All right, let's do it. Wait, no. Damn it, Joe. You have Persimian up front. That's from the last Sun and Moon Mystery Showcase. It's fine. I can just switch up. 
Sorry, Persimian. It's not your time. It's this guy's time. Look how beautiful this thing is. All right. Let's use Moonblast. Oh, that is cool. All right. So let's show it off using a Z move. So there we go. We've seen it in battle. Let's show it off using a Z move now. Uh, Did I grab the actual Z move? Oh, I haven't grabbed it yet. Okay, so I need to show that off. I guess I'm going to need to grab... If I'm going to want to show off uh, Lunala's uh, Z move, I'm going to have to go and grab it. Uh, but before we do that, let's actually show it off using an actual Z move. So do I have a Ghostinium Z? There it is, the Ghost in EMZ. So now I can show it. I can show you guys uh, uh, that. So I can at least show you one, and then we'll have to go and grab the other one. Actually, wait, I can't do it on this. God damn it! Why do you have to that? I can't. I can't kill that with a ghost in EMZ. Why did it have to be that Pokemon? Out of all the Pokemon it could have been, it had to be a Lickitung, which I cannot kill with a ghost type move. Let's try that again, shall we? Give me Pelipper. I can kill a Pelipper. Can I kill a Granville? I might be able to kill a Granville. You're not you're not normal type, so this I might be able to do this. Never ending nightmare. Let's see it. Let's see this awesomeness that is never ending nightmare. For a shiny Nunala. Oh, that is cool. Nice. Right. So... Now I need the Lunalium Z. Now, if you don't know how to get this, uh, basically what you need to do is you need to have your event legendary, your actual in-game legendary from the actual game in your party. So where is my Sol Galeo? Where is my Sol Galeo? From, my act uh, from the actual game, where is my Sol Galeo? At least I actually have it, because I don't know if I do. Because I'm... I'm a bit worried I don't have it anymore. I'm a, I actually put it away or something. I don't have it. God damn it. Did I never pick it up? Did I never pick it up? If I didn't pick it up, that is... How did I not pick this up? I swear I picked it up. Because if I'm gonna have to show, I'm gonna have to show that. Why? 
How did I not pick up a Solgaleo? How did I not pick this up? I honestly thought I picked up my Solgaleo, but maybe I haven't. If Lily is here, then I haven't picked this up. But if Lily's not here, I don't know what to do because I don't have a Solgaleo. Lily has to be here. Do I not have a Solgaleo? I... Do I even have the Z Crystal for Solgaleo? Because like I don't even know if I do have this. I I do I do have the Solgaleo Z, so I must have picked it up. Then where's my Solgaleo? I'm gonna have to find my Solgaleo because otherwise I'm in. Yeah, I can't give this. I can't give you this video if I can't give. Where's my Soul Galeo? I'm confused. I'm literally confused here. I am literally confused as to where my Soul Galeo is. I can't search for it because for some reason. How do I not have it? Is it my Pokemon bank? I'm gonna look through my box one more time and if I can't find it I'm gonna go f I'm gonna make a cut and I'm gonna see if it's in my Pokemon bank. Yeah, it's not here, so I guess in this situation I'm gonna make a cut. And I'm going to go see if it's in my bank, and then I will I will meet you guys back here in a couple of minutes, if it isn't. Or it is. Anyway, see you in a couple of minutes. Okie dokie, we are back. Sorry about that. I found my Soul Galeo. It was in my Ultra Moon copy. Yeah. Here it is right now. I've transferred it back over to my bank. Now I have it. I found my Soul Galeo. I am a happy person. I can finally do this. I can finally get my uh, my Lunalian Z and use the Lunalian Z move and get all the copyright claims in the world because the Z moves are copyright claimed. But I don't care. This is the last video of the current generation. So. I won't have to deal with this with Ultra Moon and uh, Luna uh, and Solgaleo because I've already started. I I already fixed that one up uh, to do this, but I just didn't do it with Ultra Sun because I just didn't think at the time. I I sorted everything out with Ultra Moon. I just didn't do it with Ultra Sun. I prepared myself with Ultra Moon. Didn't do it here. Should have done it with both games. Thank you for the battle points. Right. So if you don't know what, if you don't know how to get a, if you don't know about this part of the game, oh, right. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you have your Solgaleo in the first slot in your, your event legendary from the actual game in the first slot of your party. And then you need to fly to the ancient pony ruins right before the war pole. Because we are going to the reverse world. That is where we are going today. We are going to the reverse world.
go to the reverse world. And now we are in the, the world of Ultra Moon, the altar of the moon. Now from here, we need to go to the Lake of the Sun, which is on Ula Ula Island, right next to the gardens. So I can get it from here. So flying from Route 17 is flying to Route 17 is great. We go to the Ula Ula Meadow and then we can go further up. To the Lake of the Sun. And then we can go here. Run as fast as you can, Tauros, because I actually want to get wrong with this episode. To the very top and our Solgaleo suddenly uh, roared at the sky and as if by magic another appear another Pokemon appeared from somewhere And there's a Cosmog! Yes, I will take the Cosmog with me. Pew! And there goes Cosmog into my Pokedex. Cosmog's been added to my party. And Cosmog was holding the Lunalian Z. So, there we go. Now I have my Lunalian Z. Now I can return to my world. So let's return home. And then we'll deal with... And we'll actually go and uh, show off this move. And then we can go to back to the Pokemon. And then we can go into the, um, uh, you know, Pokemon Refresh and actually sh and actually end this episode properly. Okay, so we're back in our world. to fly. Let's fly to here. And now we need to give. There we go. Throw Lunala up to the front. And let's let's do this. Granville appeared. 
There's my Lunala. Menacing Moon Guy Speed. Menacing Moongeist Mailstorm. That's what it's called. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if I've seen this. That's oh, cool. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, yeah, you're you're getting massacred by that. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I needed I needed to see that. That was beautiful. Anyway, that is uh, Luna uh, shown off in battle, shown off with a Z move, shown off by killing a Pokemon. All those things have been shown off. So now let's head to Pokemon Refresh. As much as I like you, Shogaleo, this is not your time. This is Lunala's time. Okie dokie. So, uh, I need to feed it a bean to get it back onto its uh, full screen. I, go I got loads of beans. Oh, I can give it a rainbow bean. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just give it that. There we go. You like that. Anyway, let's get it onto the bottom screen. There we go. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Shiny Solgalair. Uh, that is Shiny Nunala in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Sun. You can get yours by going to your local game stores if you're in the UK. And of course, ask for codes. It is one per customer, so go on consecutive days if you want both. And you have both games, that is. If you don't have both games, it's perfectly fine. But um, if you do, that's, that's how you do it. Anyway, the, of course, if you're in America, go to your local GameStop store. You just have to go and look for a poster and scan it with your Pokemon Pass app. That's all you have to do, and you'll get it. And, of course, if you're in the rest of the world, go and check Celebi, because they will let you know where you need to go in order to do it. The only place this isn't available is Japan, but then again, you have Shiny, uh, you have Shiny Necrozma. So, I'm kind of envious of you, in a way, because I want Shiny Necrozma. But anyway, until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. Me to the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon, Sword and Shield, and good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.